Hey everybody, welcome back to my small engine repair channel and also welcome back to another chainsaw quick tip. So what I'll be showing you today is a common problem that I do come across certain chainsaws and it's a quick fix that most of the time will stop your chainsaw from leaking bar oil when you store it. So what I've got here is a Husqvarna 353 chainsaw. I did remove all the parts and the oil line here just to show you what's going on. So normally the oil line goes into the oil tank right here and it sits like this and then you've got this metal plate that goes right on top just like that now the issue that's happening with this chainsaw is that the metal plate here is slightly bent all the way inside here it's kind of hard to see but it's bent enough that it's not making a proper seal between it and the oil line right here so if you store your chainsaw and there's quite a bit of oil left in the oil tank it will slowly come out of here between the oil line and the plate and make a huge mess. Also to prevent yourself from leaking oil, you can always just replace the oil line as well if your plate is still good. And that's because sometimes the rubber gets hard, the grommet isn't sealing properly anymore. So in this case, because these two parts aren't that expensive, I'm doing both at the same time. And I do highly recommend that you use genuine parts when you replace the oil line on any chainsaw. The rubber is much better than the cheap Chinese stuff on eBay and Amazon. And if you've got the Husqvarna 353, and I believe it's the same line for the 351, this is the part number for it. And if you're going to replace the metal plate, here's the part number for that. And again, I'm highly recommending that you buy OEM parts if you're doing this repair. But what I see a lot in my shop here, guys, is that people use old motor oil and the oil lines get super hard. They're not sealing in between the oil tank and the line. And those are often the chainsaws that come in the shop leaking oil all over the place. Now, I do have videos that show me doing a full repair, replacing oil lines on chainsaws. The links are in the top right hand corner of the screen right now in the info button. You can click on there and watch it from start to finish. Now, even though the procedure will slightly differ from chainsaw to chainsaw, it will always be similar. And unfortunately, it's almost impossible to stop any chainsaw from leaking bar oil. There will always be a little bit of oil under a chainsaw when you put it away. One thing you can do to minimize that as well is to make sure your oil cap is good, especially if you have a steel chainsaw with the toolless cap here. Personally, I don't like these caps. You can comment below as to what you think of them. But in my opinion, that's half the problem. A lot of people bring saws in my shop and it's the oil cap leaking, not the oil pump or the other parts I showed you. Now also a very important thing you want to make sure is that the oiler hole is clean on your bar all the time. You can see on this bar here that this oiler hole is plugged. Now there will be an oiler hole on both sides of your bar. That's because you can flip your bar from time to time to wear it out evenly. But if you do that, make sure that you keep the oiler hole clean at all times. Also the groove inside the bar needs to be cleaned regularly because if you get a sawdust buildup, it will absorb a lot of the oil and your chain will not be getting oiled properly. And sometimes the oil will just build up around here and then leak. So if you've got any tips that I forgot to share today, please comment below the video. Make sure you're subscribed and that you're following me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and have a great day.